Jumbo, my African people. So, I'm back again with a video, an update, because it's getting closer to the day. It's closer to my exit of this first world country. And um, look what I got in the mail. Bam, bam. Look what I got y'all. Me and my girl's passports came within three weeks. That was so awesome. So I just wanna touch bases on like how I did that, what was the process and everything like that. So let me write some notes. Okay, I'm back. So I have the notes because I don't want I don't wanna talk too much for no reason. And I like to have a list. If y'all start to watch my video, I write in lists. I like to see it plain and get it done. But um, so the passport, about the passport, I recommend getting it two months to six months, like way far in advance before you even think, even if you have the thought and you're looking at Africa, get your passport in advance. That way you don't have to deal with trying to make sure it gets here in time before your flight or before you want to even start moving on booking flights because I had to do that but um I'll show you what I did because I ordered a I ordered it a month before so um that was really pushing it because it does say four to six weeks but I got mine in three weeks so continue watching and I'll let you know how I did that so first you want to gather the documents required. You can go look on the website. I'm not sure what website. I'll link the I'll put the link in the description box. And um I also have a video on that um showing everything that they wanted. Um you want to get the pictures done as well before you turn it in. Um you want to turn in a picture with it. I didn't know a picture had to be turned in. I didn't go there yet, but I was still looking, going back and forth and looking at the information like, okay, do I have everything? And then I ended up seeing the second or third time that I needed my pictures to go with it. So you can either get your pictures done at like a place that does passport pictures, or you can do it yourself. And I have a video on that. You can um, click the link in the description. And um what i end up using was my walgreens pictures because i did not have enough confidence even though the pictures were were nice it was a white background it, it went it was it met all the requirements for a passport picture but i wanted to be sure and i didn't go to the post office ahead of time to make sure like hey are these you know eligible or does these meet the requirements since i didn't do that i was like let me just go to walgreens i'm gonna pay this extra money i had to pay for three of us so that was about 35 $40 i believe yeah no 50 dollars. that's how much i paid um and um let me see. Yeah, so how I filled out the form. Um, this is big. If you, I'm just going to say, uh, I'm just going to touch the bases on this, okay? If you know about being a straw man and um, getting your rights back and everything, even though I'm not going to be in America and, like, living here, I still wanted to separate myself from the corporation other than the nation, Okay, so that's deep. If you want to look into it, look into what a straw man is. And um, I fill out the application stating that I, I am not a U.S. citizen, which is a corporation. I am a United States of America. They didn't put USA. So, like I said, again, this is deep. If you don't know, look up straw man. I don't want to get deep into that. 
Um, but I filled out the form um, according to Moonshine. I actually, I'll put that link below as well. So you can see how to fill that out if you're interested after watching what a straw man is and how you can get your rights back. Another benefit to that is since I'm working online and going to Africa, that way I don't have to pay taxes because taxes aren't mandatory. It is voluntary. It's only mandatory if you state that you are a U.S. citizen and you're a part of their corporation and you're like an entity of theirs, a, fi a fiction person. So anyway, that's just touching bases on that. Um, and I actually got them back. So, and I put that nobody on, you know, was a United States citizen, not their, their dad, me, my mom, and, you know, my dad. Yeah, so the next one was expedited shipping. If for whatever reason you had to wait to do it a month before, this is what you want to do. Um, if you don't have it planned out like way ahead of time, you want to make sure you get it expedited. And um, I would say expedited anyway for me because you don't want them to take too long on your changing your status to a state citizen or a national and um yeah you don't want to wait you just don't want to wait i if you're not in a rush and you know you're not traveling you don't have to do this it's not necessary but um expedited all the um passports and i also paid to have it shipped expeditiously all right i paid for the one to two shipping so that way they can send it back to me and it also shipped out fast one to two days and um yeah that's basically it this video is very short on the process of my passport and when i got them i was so excited i was just like ah my passport came in the mail they came and i bought this from amazon it was so cute i need to get them one as well i didn't think about it but i was just like i'm the adult most likely i'm gonna have mine around with me and um, I speak for my kids. They shouldn't have to have these. If so, I have a picture of them or I'll keep like a copy. That's another thing. I'm going to copy all of these just in case anything happens. All right. Um, yeah, and you get it with this little thing like this. Some information on how to sign it and other inf little information. But yeah, thanks for watching. The next video to come is going to be, I want to let y'all know so y'all know, to keep checking on your girl. Make sure you turn the notifications on, on my videos. So the next thing will be preparing, how I'm going to prepare for my flights and everything like that. Because I have all my itineraries right here. I can talk about the flights as well. If y'all want to hear me talk about my flights and how I'm getting to Tanzania and the COVID test, because I was going to do a video like that when I'm um, actually on the plane or getting on there or whatever. But, um, yeah, I'm taking Ethiopia um, Airlines, and I'm going straight from here to there. I'm not stopping nowhere else. Well, I am stopping somewhere. There is a layover, but I'm just saying, like, I don't have to go to, like, Europe, like, do the whole triangle. I'm not doing that. And, um flying out from Orlando was like 33 hours and it was good that I had someone that I connected with someone who was going to Tanzania from a different area and she went straight shot so I was like oh okay well, let me go over there and book my flight mm -hmm. but um yeah stay prepared I mean stay prepared stay tuned for my preparing to go and what I have packed and what I've bought for my transition thanks for watching asante sana see y'all later Hi. Hi. Hi.